me. Look at me with my 90 FPS. Radar oh no! What's this? 23 FPS? And so smooth and buttery as he tries in vain to outmaneuvre you. You are having a laugh. I haven't changed anything. It's the same settings that got me that buttery smooth 90 FPS in the Spitfire on the Caucasus map. closer to that ship. Frame rate is plummeting to 7 FPS. Radar. 9 FPS. Searching. I mean this is not going to be a fun experience for anybody. Even the most die-hard advocate of VR is going to give up at this point. Throw their headset away. 6 FPS there for a second. Let's, let's let's just stop, shall we? Let's just stop and let's just figure out what's going wrong, folks. It's so bad, actually, that I'm going to have to restart DCS to kind of fix this. It's like melting, melting my GPU here, okay? Which, by the way, at the moment, through lessons learned, is it running at stock clock with the fan up to 90 because it is quite a warm day. Let's just try this again, but let's just make a couple of tweaks to our settings. And then I'll run through the pain that I went through, some of the reasons for it, and how you can get around it so you can get smooth experience all the time with your DCS with the Quest 2. Now I am running an i7-9700K uh, with a recently acquired RTX 3080 Ti. This card will draw 350 watts and is capable of outputting extremely high quality graphics. But of course, as we know, this means nothing in the fickle world of virtual reality. Where even the most dominating of PCs can be brought to its knees. So, first of all, object textures, unit textures, we're going to set that to medium. Okay, and the other thing that we're going to do is we are going to set our clouds from high to standard. And let's just go back into instant action. AH64, Marianas, deck qualifications. We'll re fly this and we'll just see the difference that it makes. Okay, so initially the first thing radar, two o'clock, searching is that it's all together much smoother. Um, the Oculus environment enables you to. Uh, enable something called asynchronous warp which will lock the frame rate to 45. Now this is really important if you've got a headset that has a refresh rate of 90 Hz, 45 frames per second will give you a much smoother experience per set perceived than would say 60 or even 70 FPS. That's because the frame rate is synced to the refresh rate of the headset. We are solidly locked at 45, we don't have any flickering, there's zero latency when I turn my head from side to side. So we're getting at least, um, you know, 50%, 100 to 50% greater frame rate. Radar, 11 o'clock, searching. So what's going wrong is when you've got your settings set to high for textures, it is trying to render in all these highly detailed ships, super smooth frames, absolutely no flickering, no framiness. It looks great as I fly past. One of the things I noticed Radar. on a previous test Searching. was that when looking at the wake of the ships, you were getting a hell of a lot of slowdown, a hell of a lot of stuttering. So if we can 
land on one of those decks over there. But you have to agree that 45 FPS is very, very much preferable to what we were getting before in this similar position, which was about 7 or 8 FPS. We can come in smoothly. Seats moved. Haha, <laughs> that didn't help. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. My seat moved. Ah, there we go. Let's go and have a look at the settings. Textures medium. Because when you are in the vicinity of lots of ground units, you will take a huge hit CPU and GPU. Terrain textures, I found that that works great at high. I don't bother with civilian traffic. Water medium because doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. Visible range is set to medium because again that doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. All of these things are off, especially the shadows. The shadows just create a big frame hit. Resolution I leave alone. Res of cotton displays I just set to 1024 because I don't notice the difference. MSAA is set to 2. Okay, I've tried it on 4 and 4 is just very very poor on a lot of maps, a lot of aircraft. Lens effects, dirt and flare are both on simply because there's little to no GPU hit. Um, clouds are standard because otherwise you get a GPU hit. Um, then these are my settings for everything else. Clutter of grass is low because most of the time I'm too high to notice. Anisotropic filtering is 16 times. Train object shadows is off. Global cockpit illumination is off. This made a difference for me, untick full screen. It makes no difference in VR, but for some reason it seems to give me a slight improvement. Do not turn on V-Sync, this will mess up your game completely. And my VR settings are 1.3 pixel density. I found that 1.3 pixel density gave me a better uh, overall experience than a pixel density of one with MSAA at four times. Now, the more you slide this up, the more drain it's going to be on your resources, so you need to find a sweet spot, and my sweet spot is it's playable on the most demanding maps with the most demanding aircraft. MSAA mask size, I've set that all the way down to 0.15, but I do not think that, that does anything whatsoever, because I've tried it in different, um, um, in, in different positions. So, if you see any videos where you've got somebody flying around in a Spitfire or an F-86 or an F-5 or some aircraft like that that hasn't really got any avionics um, and they're flying low to the ground like this on the Caucasus map and they're saying, oh it looks amazing, I've got 90 FPS, well it doesn't mean anything doesn't mean anything at all because you're not going to get 90 fps flying the apache in a heavily populated server even on the caucasus map you're definitely not going to get it on the more demanding maps that aren't as well optimized so my advice go into your aircraft that gives you the worst performance Go into the map that gives you the worst performance, adjust your settings from there, and if you can get yourself a playable experience, then that is a win. And there's my advice for doing it. Shadows off. Close to standard. And that's a good start from there. One thing I forgot to add, I am recording this video in 1440p using shadow play. The GPU hit or the frames hit is negligible, it's unnoticeable. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful and entertaining. Um, don't give up on those GPU settings, you just need to find the compromise that is right for you, that you're happy to live with. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope to see you soon 
take care and fly safe.